Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome everyone to today's Periscope. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here with me this morning. Hello, Zoraida. Good morning, my love. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I sure did. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me here this Monday morning. Good morning. Hello, Jemmy boy. Mohammed, good morning. Good morning to you all. Thank you, thank you for joining me. Brumia, Arthur, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for being here with me on this beautiful Monday morning. Today is 222, all about choices and decisions. And it is also our full moon. So later on today, I will be doing a full moon ceremony as I always do on the full moon and the new moon. So make sure to stay tuned at 4 o'clock for that periscope. Thank you, Outdoors55. What's your name, my love? Let me know your name. Decisions, decisions, time to move forward. Hi from London. Hello, Chris. Netflix and chill. I don't know what that means. Thank you, Zoraida, for inviting your followers. And if any of you feel that some of your friends or your followers would love this scope, feel free to share as well. Hello, can you read my tarot? I do read tarot on here. I do a general reading for all of us who are present. And if you are interested in doing an individual tarot reading with me, you can visit my website, sexualitypower.com, and there you can find how to access a tarot reading for me. Hello, Scott. Welcome back, my love. I missed you. So let's see. Hello, Miracles. Oop. <laughs> we got our card for today. Here we go. I love the power exchange. Thank you. Missed you too. And your scopes. Yeah. So here is Blossoming Abundance. This is our card for today. And this card really represents a lot of possibilities. Right? There's so many possibilities. There's so much abundance that is coming our way. Right? It is about making the space for all of this abundance and possibility to really fulfill itself in our lives. So this is definitely, yes, new beginnings. Um, a lot of new things are coming our way. A lot of light will be shining in our life. Also, spring is on its way. Plant the seeds. Yes, thank you, Melissa. And if you do not follow Miracles Within Us, do follow her. I go to her for my readings when I need a reading. And I actually learned a lot of what I do from her. So she is definitely someone to be watching and following. And I did want to pull a romance card as well as the romance angels woke me up this morning saying, use me, use me. Um, so here is our card for the romance department. And it says chemistry. Right, chemistry. It says there is a strong magnetic attraction here. So there is either in your life currently someone who there is a lot of chemistry with or someone will be coming in with the abundance that is really going to stir up some chemistry between you and that person. So be open to an energy exchange with individuals, right? And sometimes, you know, we exchange energy and there's chemistry even with friendships, right? So be open to that. Be open to just honoring the energy exchange, honoring that chemistry without making it mean anything, right? Sometimes we automatically jump into making something mean that this person is our life partner or like our twin flame. You know, right now it's not, you know, they're, they're saying it's not necessary. Don't go too far into it, 
really just stay um does that mean kinky relationships it can chris it can um but for right now it's, it's just saying enjoy the energy exchange enjoy the um, chemistry that comes to life when you engage in an energy interaction with someone else so that might be you know a friend it might be a partner it might be someone who you meet who you have really nice chemistry with so these are the cards for us today don't think far ahead yet yeah you know and and this also brings us back to living in the now being present in the moment and not letting things get too far ahead of us, right? We sometimes are either thinking in the past or in the future, which if we're either in the past or in the future, we're not in the present, right? So take that as a hint, right? And as, as, a, as a marker that if you're focusing on the past or the future, then you're not being in the present. And that is an automatic trigger for you to focus back in the in the present moment and for me the best way for me to focus in the present moment is through the breath focusing on the breath focusing on my heartbeat and really becoming present to that and that really just brings me straight back into the now so these are just some tips that you can use to really help you bring yourself back into this moment and remember that there is a lot of abundance and chemistry coming our way so this is going to be a beautiful beautiful new uh, full moon tonight and don't forget to tune back in at four o'clock for our full moon ceremony where we will be going through some of the rituals that i practice and really honoring the moon cycle so I wish you all a very passionate morning, and until this afternoon, have a great one. Bye. It's 11-11. Ah, yes. I love it. I'll add you. Thank you, Chris. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.